Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by Appliancevideo.com. Right, uh, what we have here is a GE bottom freezer. Uh, the customer's complaint is that it's been leaking. Uh, when you open up the bottom of the freezer here, you see all the ice that's built up. So it looks like that's going to be an indication of a frozen drain line. Uh, what we're going to do is just go ahead and break up the ice. down here that's in the freezer. And then to, uh, to clear the drain line to get to the evaporator, it actually sits in between the freezer and the refrigerator section. So we're gonna go in through the refrigerator section. Okay, uh, now that we've cleared all the ice in the freezer section, we're going to go in through the refrigerator to get to the drain. Uh, we got to just go ahead and pull the two crisper drawers out here. And we've got four screws. A lot of times what will happen is if this drain line ices up, it will actually stop the evaporator fan motor from running and it can cause cooling issues. Okay, what we're going to do is just take a flathead screwdriver, stick it in at the bottom, one of the holes there to sort of get the back panel up. that and we've got basically tape that's going to be holding down the panel. Let's go ahead and peel this gasket back here. Okay, we're just going to be peeling this tape back here so we can get this styrofoam cover off. it up like that. All right, what we're going to do is turn the temperature control off so we get the fan motor to stop running. Uh, it really doesn't look like the drain is too backed up right now, so we're going to go ahead and run some water down it and see if it backs up on us. Okay, we're going to go ahead and open the freezer. And that water is flowing right out the bottom here onto the floor. Okay, now we uh, pulled the unit out. Basically, we were getting the, the drain line was backing up when we were pouring water down. We wanted to check the freezer to make sure there wasn't any ice in the, uh, in the drain pan, basically because that's going to restrict the evaporator fan motor from running. So you want to check that, make sure it's not backed up. But you see here we've got water dripping out of here. There's a, dra uh, a J trap drain line that runs right here. And that's what we're gonna take off and clear out. So we got four screws on the cover here. We got the cover running here. And right here might be plugged up also. So we're gonna go ahead and take the two screws off of this. And you can see the water just dripping out of here. Pull that out. And we're just gonna go ahead and remove this. And that's your whole drain assembly right there. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just take it out to the truck. I've got CO2 tank, you can just pretty much blow it out. Uh, if you don't have that, you can pretty much kind of run it, run water through it at the sink and just keep shaking it around and kind of clear it out that way or a pipe cleaner or whatever you got to make sure that your water's running through here. Okay, uh, so what we did was we blew out the drain line. The plug was right here in the little J trap of this piece here. 
So we took it apart and basically just took a pipe cleaner and ran it up both ends and then blew it out with CO2. So we're going to go ahead and put it back together here. Before we do anything else, what we're going to do is go to the front side and pour a little bit more water down on the inside and make sure we don't have any water dripping out the back. Okay, uh, so we're just going to go ahead and run some water down the drain here from the inside. Seems to be flowing pretty good. Okay, uh, we still had a little bit of a leak coming out of here when we were pouring the water through. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and silicone around the fittings here just to make sure we have a watertight seal. Uh, just have some electrical grade silicone. I'm grabbing the, um, in the side pouch there. The little zipper pouch. There should be some snips. I got to cut the other side. Or the scissors right there, the white handle. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do we had a leak coming from this fitting here. We're just going to go ahead and throw a bead of silicone right around this fitting here. And somebody's already siliconed around here where the drain line goes in. Well, we'll just throw a little bit of extra up around there. Can't hurt. Okay, uh, now we've got our silicone on there. Just gonna go ahead and put the fitting back together here. Gonna just add a little bit more right around the seal here. We're gonna go ahead and put our cover plate back on. And this unit's probably only gonna go into defrost about once every 10 hours or so. So it should give depending on the last time it was in a defrost cycle, it should give it enough time to, to let that silicone dry out. Okay, uh, we went ahead and pushed the refrigerator back. We're just gonna go ahead and replace the bottom panel here. Styrofoam panel first. Uh, make sure you got your heat shield in there. It's going to go right in the middle. Kind of protects the styrofoam from melting from the heat of the defrost heater. Go ahead and seat it down. Go ahead and push your tape down on your seams there. ground wire right here that hooks into the panel. Go ahead and snap that in place. Get your front lip seated first. And push it down. Just like put your four screws in. Okay, uh, and 
that's going to complete the repair. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com.